All right, hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. So this week I'm going to tell you about the M-Audio Profile Sound Cards control panel. Many people don't necessarily know much about the Profile's control panel, so I'm going to tell you how flexible it is. For starters, you can double click here and just rename all these however you want. For example, mine are connected speakers and headphones one, headphones two, and occasionally I reamp th through those, and then I have like insert out, I have like a DBX compressor inserted there, and the inputs are in, in L, in, in R, and my mic is here, and my DIA box is connected here. And then my record out is here. And these are currently not connected anywhere. My rec out is currently routed so that it goes to my sound card's line input. For example, my microphone is not going there. If I want to, for example, play something on my computer, I just open this software output 1 and 2, which is the default, which you can actually set up from the audio MIDI setup. You just go to show audio window, and then you select the profile there, configure speakers and the default output. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are the analog outputs, and 9 and 10 are the SPDIF. All right, let's continue. If you didn't know, the headphone outputs 1 and 2 are hardwired and you can't change them. Headphone output 1 is connected to the same output as the 1 and 2 in the back, but you can route any like software output there. So if you want to, for example, use the 1 and 2 only for the speakers, and you would put your speakers, say, on the 5 and 6, you just open this one there, and then you put the headphones to the 3 and 4, and the headphones to the 5 and 6. And then you just have to remember that in your door. I have noticed that many people have said that their headphones seem to be way too quiet, even if you crank the volume all the way up. It most likely is that you have one of these cross boxes checked here. So if you have the analog output 1 and 2 connected to your speakers, you usually have the volume control knob there, but it's also connected to the headphone outputs. So what you want to do is that you connect your speakers to the outputs 5 and 6 or 7 or 8 instead, and then if you put them to the 5 and 6, you just route the output 1 and 2 there, and then you just put the checkbox here and uncheck the checkbox here. So now these two are at the full scale volume. Okay, it should show you this warning. If it doesn't, you can set it on the show warning before disabling master volume knob output because it goes really, really loud and you should not play anything when you do that. And then you just click full scale. Anyway, I hope this tutorial was useful for you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos a week. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and make good music.